Hey guys, I'm Austin with Absorb Media, and today I'm going to go over 10 items that would be great gifts for the filmmaker or content creator in your life, anyone who's making videos of any sort. So this list is not in any specific order or anything, but the first thing on my list is, well, you know what, if I had to pick one thing on this list, this would probably be the top, top number one. Well, it is number one is the small rig tool. This thing comes with me on literally every shoot or anytime I set up, like even here in the house, whatever room I'm sitting up in, this thing is coming with me in that room. I don't leave without it. This made my list last year and it will always make every single list from here on out forever. It should be just implied as a needed item for anybody who owns a camera or a tripod or anything. It has all the parts you need to take apart cages, rigs, also has a flat head for all kinds of screws that you can screw on to uh, Tripods, take them off tripods, put them on tripods, put them back on the tripods, and then when you need to take them back off the tripods, you can also do that again and again. It also can take things off the tripods. It can do a lot more, but I'm not gonna go into every single thing I've ever used this for. It'd be a great one to gift, it's amazing. Number two, this item is great to have and really small enough to throw in any bag. If you are a content creator or even a photographer that hikes out or just travels in general, this is awesome to have. This is a pocket blanket. It folds up super tiny. It doesn't take up almost any space in a bag. You can put it in your pocket. And we've used it for just laying out to lay our gear out if we need to lay something down or if you need to lay the blanket out to set the bag down so you're not sitting in like mud or anything. It's just a great thing to have in your bag to just kind of lay out to make little surfaces when there's like mud or like dog crap or something. You need to lay the blanket over and not put your backpack in it. It's a great thing to have. Number three. It's kind of generic, but I think because it's so generic, people probably forget that these exist, but just a portable charger is always great to have to use to charge your phone, because sometimes you need your phone to run some apps that maybe control some camera. But you can just plug these little chargers into the chargers, plug the portable power bank into the charger for your camera battery. There, hopefully that makes sense. But these are great to have and I don't think you can have too many. I keep one in almost every place in my house. I keep them in my car, I keep them in my bags. I take them literally everywhere. I take more than I need all the time. I just am like super paranoid about taking power with me everywhere. Cause you never know if you're gonna stall, get lost, or just watch too many YouTube videos and your phone dies too fast and you just need to recharge it. Good to have. Now number four, this is a specific power bank. This one I will link in, it is by Halo. This is a gigantic power bank. This one is just like a bigger version of the one I just mentioned before. But this one is awesome because it also has an outlet. You can charge your laptop on it. I believe you can power a TV on it too. I've not tried that. I don't know how long you run it. But it also has uh, jumper cables on it and you can literally jump your car. I've done it multiple times with mine and it works really well. It's really freaking awesome. And there's a small LED, LED light on it, but I, it's whatever. Yeah, I guess it could work inside a car if you need to find, I don't know what, it's got a light on it. Amazing and it lasts forever. Number five, I think any content creator um, can use an SD card. Uh, most likely you're filming on, shooting on something that takes SD cards. If not, um, you may want to find that out if what they film on or shoot, but you normally can't go wrong with an SD cards and these specific SD cards from SanDisk that shoot up to 170 megabytes a second. They work on just pretty much anything. I've shot them, I'm shooting right now on a cinema camera and it's fast enough to run it at 24 frames per second at 4K on uh, my FX6. So um, recommend these, these are great. Number six is a SD card wallet. They're great to have inside your bag if you don't have one and you're just throwing your SD cards around or just leaving them inside your camera and you, when you fill that up, you take one out and just drop it in your bag. It's not a good idea. It's good to have a wallet inside your bag. And they also make waterproof protection ones. There's a few I'll link down below, but they're pretty much any wall. It's gonna be better than not having any. Next, number seven. I'm gonna go ahead and say number seven and eight because these both are similar. And if you can find them anywhere, they're both great. And you can probably find them on sale right now. I've got mine on sale. It is the Aperture MC and the Nanlite Pavo tube. Now the MC is a smaller, thin, squared, LED panel that is really tiny, easy to slip in any bag. And the Nanlite Pavo tube is a tube shaped light. And this thing has a, the tube, the Pavo tube has a little more output when it comes to brightness. But other than that, they pretty much have the same features and effects that they would have on each other. On each other? They both kind of do the same thing, but they're both great. I own both of them. They're a lot of fun and have come really handy. Come in handy or come handy? Come in handy? 
come they have come they have come in handy on a lot of times now number nine if you have someone who does talking head videos in their bedroom or not this probably isn't for like the uh filmmaker but this is more for like a content creator someone who makes any kind of videos in the room or even if you just want your zoom calls to look pretty neat this is the full-time filmmaker the ftf floor standing light it's actually a really neat looking light uh on camera it looks so much cooler than what it does in person but it's really it's really neat to have to just kind of dress up your desk area or office space. And number 10 is something that has been super useful. I know all of these things have been useful, is a teleprompter. And this has actually come in handy with my clients too in professional work, but this also has been super nice to have for YouTube videos, such as this when I can't remember what I've said, but it's around a hundred bucks and I think it's a really great value for what it is. And all it is is a small teleprompter. It's not huge, but it still works pretty well when you're a decent distance from your camera. But it runs off an app and you can just write in Word or whatever you're typing your script up in, copy, paste it into the app, and then you slide it up under your lens and it plays right there. And it also comes with a Bluetooth remote that works pretty well too. But yeah, this thing has been really awesome and we use it quite a bit. Well, that's it for this one. That's 10 items for the filmmaker content created in your life. And if you don't know what to get them, all of these things would be amazing gifts to gift. They're all around 100 bucks. And I'm going to be doing a 10 items for the tech lover in your life too, which some of these things may overlap, but that one will be linked probably in the description of this video, or you'll find it on my YouTube channel, where I think this video is if you're watching it now. I assume you're watching on YouTube because that's where I put it. If you're not watching this on YouTube, then I don't know who put it here. 